गाइस दिस इज मालिंकी वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल वॉइस ऑफ मालिंकी नाउ आई एम योर विद रैपिड फायर क्वेश्चन 14 दैट इज व्हाट इज सर्कुलर आरएनए एंड व्हाई इट इज इंपॉर्टेंट एंड दिस इज द रैपिड फायर क्वेश्चन सीरीज फॉर पीएचडी एंट्रेंस एग्जाम्स एंड इंटरव्यूज एंड इफ यू आर न्यू इन माय चैनल प्लीज सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल एंड इफ यू लाइक माय वीडियो प्लीज डू लाइक कमेंट एंड शेयर माय वीडियो So circular RNA is a type of single stranded non-coding RNA. So it is single stranded RNA and it is non-coding RNA. It does not code for any proteins which forms a covalently closed structure unlike linear RNA. So this is the linear RNA and this is the circular RNA you can see it has a covalently closed structure because the 5 prime and 3 prime end of the RNA is covalently linked with each other the 3 prime and 5 prime ends of a RNA are joined or covalently joined to form this circular RNA they are ubiquitously expressed in eukaryotic cells during post transcriptional process that means they are continuously expressed and they are not regulated they are not regulated their expressions are not regulated and they are continuously and randomly expressed in eukaryotic cells during post transcriptional process that means after transcription after the formation of mrna as circular rnas do not have 3 prime and 5 prime open ends they are resistant to nuclease action therefore they are more stable than linear rnas so basically the circular rnas are very much stable because they do not have any open 3 prime and 5 prime ends therefore nuclease these are the enzymes and they cannot get any open end to cleave the rna that's why it is very much stable so now we will talk about the types first one is the exonic circular rna that possesses only exons it has only exons then is the intronic circular rna possesses only introns they have only introns and exon intron circular rna they possess both exons and introns so this is the pre rna this is the pre rna that is just transcribed from a dna and it has the 5 prime and 3 prime end and it contains four exons here exon 1 exon 2 exon 3 and exon 4 and in between three introns intron 1 intron 2 and intron 3 so this is just the pre mrna it is yet to be processed now after the splicing the introns are removed and exons are joined here to produce the linear rna so this is basically canonical linear splicing and in case of back splicing what happens in case of exonic circular rna it contains exon 2 and exon 3 so this contains only two exons and it is exonic circular rna in this case it contains the intron 2 only intron 2 is present here that is between exon 2 and exon 3 so it is intronic circular rna that contains only one intron in this case it has both exon 2 exon 3 and the intron 2 so it contains both exon and intron so this is exon intron circular rna so these are three types of circular rnas functions circular rnas bind to many micro rnas therefore they block the transcriptional repression of certain mrnas 
that was otherwise happened by microRNAs. So what we will see here that this is the mRNA, this is getting transcribed from this DNA and this is one miRNA or microRNA and it is going to bind this mRNA and it will form mRNA miRNA complex and when mRNA miRNA complex is formed there will be no any translation so it is the translational repression so this mRNA is not producing any protein in this case but when the circular RNA is present it will bind the micro RNA therefore the mRNA is free here and it can undergo translation it can produce proteins therefore this circular RNA is blocking the translational repression this is one function they bind to some RNA binding proteins RBPs and control their regulation they interact with some signal molecules and regulate certain signaling processes in cell. They interact with RNA polymerase and regulate transcription. So we can see here that the RNA polymerase is binding here and the circular RNA. Circular RNA is binding this RNA polymerase so this RNA polymerase is binding the DNA to undergo transcription and the circular RNA is binding this RNA polymerase and it is regulating the transcription process. They also interact with spliceosome to regulate splicing process. So here we can see this is the spliceosome and it is regulating splicing and in this case the circular RNA is attached with this spliceosome and uh, it is regulating the splicing process further. They also regulate translation. They regulate epigenetic alterations. Importance. Why this is important? What is its significance? It is very important question. So circular RNA exhibits altered expression under pathological conditions and are strongly associated with the development of various human diseases. Circular RNA can also induce antiviral immune response. Very recently, the functions of circular RNAs in cancer are gaining considerable interest and have become a focus of cancer research. Circular RNAs play a regulatory role in tumor cells therefore it might be a possible target for the treatment of cancer.